hello, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at Script, Pink Sheet and Invivo. I'm here at the Biotech Showcase 2018, uh, a meeting that runs parallel with the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference, which is the traditional kickoff meeting for the pharmaceutical world, uh, where pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies and investors all get together to talk about the issues that are facing the industry, uh, also to sort of explore some of the progress that has been made and also to start negotiations for, for, for potential deals. You know, one of the sort of the, the, the hot areas, and in fact it was one of the, sort of the highlights of 2017, was the progress that had been made in the CAR-T space. Uh, it's clearly a really hot space, and I'm, I'm joined by Christian Honzi, who's the CEO of Celyad, which is a Belgian-based uh, uh, biotech company, who you guys are in the CAR-T space. <laughs> Everybody wants a piece of car tea these days. So, so what, what, what is it that is, how are you going to, to put your head above the parapet in, in, in such a crowded uh, environment? Well, Mike, everybody wants a piece of our car tea, which is already something very interesting because uh, we have a lot, a lot of interest from investors and pharma partners. Uh, what's, what's special about our car tea is, is that it is a universal car tea. It is a car tea that could target with one construct many different cancers and that's what's very specific about it. It actually targets stress as opposed to target and tumor antigen. That's the big difference if you want. Right. And cancer cells by definition are stress cells. Right. So, uh, so, that's, so that's the concept. So, so where did the concept first originate? So we, we bought it, we acquired it from Dartmouth College, the lab of uh, Professor uh, Charles Sentman, who've been working on it for about 10 years. And, and, and we've, we've, we've acquired it in January 15, and since then we're, de we're developing it. Okay, okay. And so, sort of, you know, what sort of, uh, what progress have you made, you know, since, uh, you know, bringing it in-house? So what's triggering, uh, triggering a lot of interest now is uh, data that we've reported back in October, and we're building on that from, the, from there on, uh, which, for the first time in the world, an AML, so an acute mild leukemia patient, got uh, a complete response to so a cure of his cancer with uh, a CAR-T and a CAR-T that was not preceded by any preconditioning regime. Yeah. And that, that is the first in the world and that's really attracting a lot of attention here. Right, okay. Uh, and you reported what, the sort of preliminary data in it's October? Preliminary. It's a, it's a trial in progress, right. but because that was the first in the world, we had to report it separately. Yeah. We'll be reporting the rest of the data as at different congresses, so ASCO, ASH, etc. And, and we're excited to see that. Now, what we're doing now is testing the, the product as a monotherapy, so alone. Um, obviously, we will also be testing it in the context of preconditioning, which should, could only enhance efficacy. But from the early signals we're getting, we're already very excited. Right. Okay. So that that's your lead program. Yes. Uh, you know what what other what other work is is Saliad uh, you know focusing on? So the lead program is what we call NKG2D. That's the name of the receptor that is on the CAR T. Um, and it's an autologous approach, so basically patient to the same patient. Uh, the next uh, product that will be tested is the same version of that, but in an allogeneic setting. All right, so this is the universal. This is kind of universal. So this is the one that will start to be testing in June of this, June, July of this year. The IND has been filed, so it's really, it's really uh, soon now. And, and where will that take place? Will that be in Europe or...? That would be in the US primarily, but also in Europe, of course. And then, uh, that's in the NKG2D platform, and then we have a couple of other platforms, b 7 6 NKP32, other type of CAR-T. But when you have, if you have a universal CAR-T, then it's really about indications and clinical indication more than it is about different products. Right. And, you know, the sort of the, the, sort of the plan, I mean, you're developing this on your own the moment, or do you have a commercial... Uh, part. So we have two partners for the moment, one in Japan, which is Ono Pharmaceuticals, a big okay. uh, immuno-oncology company in Japan, and we've licensed out as well certain rights to Novartis uh, in the CAR-T space, but for the moment we're keeping most of the what we're doing in-house because we think that the value creation we're going to get in the next few months is going to be very significant and it, you know we don't want to sell it too, too, too early. Right, right, okay. So. And, and the approach, though, because you have a, a what, what sounds almost like a technology platform, 
um, because yeah. I, I'm guessing that you could you know, use the approach to target different. Exactly, so it's actually two technology platforms. We have first our allogeneic platform, yeah. which could be used on different CAR-Ts. Yeah. We, uh, we have our NKG2D platform, which could be used on different cancers. Uh, and, and we also have patents that are uh, preventing other to develop allogeneic CAR-T. So universal CAR-T in a sense, so to say. So, so this is, for example, the subject of the agreement that we have with Novartis. They came to us because yeah. they wanted to develop an allogeneic CAR-T and they need a license to our, to our patents. Yeah, for, for freedom to operate. So, so I was just saying, uh, so that kind of leads on to the question of, so, so what kind of partnerships or deals are you actually you know, looking to negotiate uh, in, you know, in the coming months and years? I mean, we're, 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 we're literally talking to many, many different partners. I think yesterday I had, I had six on my schedule and today I had another four. Uh, and the, they, the people that want to position themselves as a leader in the CAR-T space, they're talking to us. They really want to have something to do with us. Now the question is, uh, what's the interface? How much do we go? How much do they go? And at what point do they step in in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bigger manner? That's basically su the subject of the current discussions. And uh, in terms of, sort of, you know, the, sort of the financial uh, you know, muscle that you have, so what, what, what is your funding uh, situation at the moment? So we're, 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 uh, we have about a year and a half of cash for the moment in, uh, in, uh, in the bank, but uh, we will be conducting a raise very shortly now. And we also have inflows of our licensing partners that will also help in our financial position. And what sort of uh, investors are you looking to, to, to bring on board? So we're focusing, for this particular round, we're focusing on what we call opinion maker investors in the I.O. field, in the immunology field. Right because uh, we need that knowledge, we need that savviness, and we also need that exposure to the investor world. That's very important. So it's like strategic partners? For, like, no, no, it's also, no, immuno-oncology investment opinion makers are funds that have, that have, that are known to do very, very deep due diligence, oh, okay. that have very strong science, and if they invest in a company, that means that the company has something that is worth it. That's, uh, that's our focus. Okay, good. Oh, well, look. Thanks very much, Christine. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. A pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.